There is actually a um, pretty good armor set for the warrior here, or I mean the knight now, called the diamond armor. For the for the most part, I'm going to show all of it. The more I think about it, though, this is probably the most uninteresting dungeon. But in here, oh hey, mermaid. We should probably try to. Oh my prayers have been answered. You don't actually like free the mermaids. I just I think that's kind of weird. It's just like you can talk, and then they just don't do anything. I needed. I actually need this opportunity to change the page of my strategy guide. Uh, anyways, uh, you should probably just come right up. Uh, getting a Rosetta Stone is kind of tricky, actually. It's kind of annoying. And, uh, first time you're playing the game, you probably don't know what to do. Um, what you gotta do here is you need to go this way. It kind of, like, teleports you to the, uh, right side of the map. And in here are a couple chests, one of which being the Diamond Gloves, the first of the Diamond Armor set. And in this room is the, uh, actually, this room is the helm, too. And I think the armlets are in this room, too. And, yeah, the, that... Um, I don't think Josh can equip them. No, he can't. Just... Oh my gosh. Go to the stinking gauntlets again when he... There's better armor for him, I think. Anywho. Yeah, um, I guess I, I'm the only person that can equip that. I'm actually trying to get the armlets, too. I wonder where they are. Got you look at my map and it will tell me where they are. Ugh, okay. It's... Okay, yeah. Okay, I know where they are now. They should be in... Oh my gosh. Sometimes this game ticks me off. Oh my, oh my gosh. How, how is it I've not found a random encounter here yet? Well, I'm surprised I didn't jinx that. Like, hey guys, you know what would suck if we ran into a giant dragon that killed us all in one hit? <laughs> Darn it, Jimmy, you killed us all. Or something. I should name somebody Jimmy. It's like my trademark, I guess you can say. But there go the diamond armlets. I really don't recall there being a better armor set for, uh, you know, the, me. But, whatever. I guess, you know. It's the best you can get at this point. Uh, and yes, there's the stairs again. There actually is a pretty good weapon here, and it's kind of cool. I think I'm going to get it. Anyways, the weapon I was talking about is the uh, light axe, and it's uh, it's kind of cool. I like getting it, just... Uh, I think this is a fixed encounter. No, it's not. Whatever. Get out of here, sea snakes. Go, go back Go back to the sea world or whatever. <laughs> sea world. I don't, even, I don't even try and make that reference. Anyways, the light axe, it's actually kind of a cool weapon. I like getting it, just... I like... I just like getting it, because it, it makes me kind of feel like a paladin from Final Fantasy IV. But uh, if you've played Final Fantasy IV, you know the main character of that game uses a sword. Instead of an axe, and... Sea Trolls? What the crud are you doing, stupid Sea Trolls? Ugh, anyways, we need to cut this battle up, because there's no point in showing it, because these guys can be killed with one Thunderaga. But yeah, eh, just more Thunderaga and... Oh, come on, gosh. Oh, hey, some ghosts. These are actually the enemies, not weak to Thunder, believe it or not. Uh, they just have the same weaknesses to everything else. I actually did, didn't think I'd kill them that fast, but whatever. Um, ghosts, I think, can do an inflict death. I'm not sure about that, though. But yeah, this is kind of my least favorite. Like, out of the four dungeons, or actually five, you're gonna face here. This one's kind of the most boring, because all the enemies are just stupid and boring. And yeah, I did buy, I think I bought, like, 99 ethers. Hmm. Let me look real quick. Uh, I might actually, that might actually be my practice file, hope it's not. Oh crap, it wasn't crud. I mean, it was crap. I didn't buy any ethers. Oh well, I should be good. Just gotta be kinda lenient on the magic. Anyways, up here though is the last piece of diamond armor. I think, no it's not. There's actually, I think there's a diamond sword and a diamond shield, but I can't really, no, I know for a fact there's a diamond shield, but there's really no point in getting that. It's not that good of a weapon. I mean, uh, armor. I think there's a better shield. Anyways, diamond armor. That's the last one I'm gonna get. Anyways, yeah. So, there you go. Yeah, that's the whole diamond set, basically. <sighs> Anyways, uh, now that we got the Rosetta Stone and the diamond armor, though, I'm actually going to buy a bunch of ethers. Battle. No, I won't cut this battle up. Oh my gosh, there's so many battles in this game. I know I've been saying, oh my gosh, there's so many random battles. Like being a nerd. Holy crud, he almost did 500 damage. I'm, I'm, I know I'm being like a nerd, like, oh my gosh, you're showing random battles, it's so annoying. <sighs> but there are, so shut up. And actually, now that we're magic level 7, it kind of makes me want to, uh... Anyways, like I was saying, now that we're magic level 7, I think it's, uh... I think we should make another trip back to, uh, the town, and you know what, screw it, I'm talking. Because I actually need this time to look at my map and see where the crud I'm going. <laughs> see how that worked out. But yeah, I'm going to go back to Unrock, or however you say it, I think it's called Unrock. Yep, unrock. 
It's like, unrock, rockin! That was stupid. Why'd I say that? Oh my gosh, I'm such a nerd. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, oh my gosh, I'm still killing these stupid Sajins or whatever. Sajin. It's kind of like, it sounds kind of Indian or something. I don't know. I am Hachi! <laughs> Anyways, I think that's, that was slightly racist. Anyways, I think... Yes, this is the actual way out of the dungeon. Anyways, um... I'm going to go off screen, go to Unrock, buy some magic level 7 spells, and get some ethers. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, you know, I was, uh, the only really good m magic level 7 thing is for white magic is Hilaraga. Because, like, the black mage doesn't get crap. He gets Saber, which boosts his accuracy and attack. That's not even good for him, because, you know, he's going to be casting spells. And um, I did get 99 uh, high potions and ethers. And some, uh, remedies and gold needles, you know, just thought, why not? Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you got loads of money now left in the game, so just might as well spend it. I mean, I don't know why, but, like, for some reason I thought the, um, the Light Axe was better than the Ice Brand. It's actually not. The, um, the uh, Axe is actually a lot less, I think it's a little bit less strong, but it, um, and it has lower accuracy, so stay with the swords, in my opinion. But then again, do whatever. I mean, I'm just saying the, as far as stats go, the uh, sword is a lot better. But don't throw the act. Or anyways, like I was saying, it's a walk. If you're using, if you're just going by better stats, but don't throw that um stinking. Don't throw the axe away. Actually, hold on to it because what you might not know is, uh, if you use it as an item, it casts Dyra, which if you run into a bunch of zombies can be uh, pretty useful. Right in this chest, I think that yeah, just a very small amount of gil. And I'm calling it Gil now. It's, it's not gold, it's Gil, fool. Don't be stupid. Right. I'm an H now. Right. Um, in this room, though, is actually some decent Gil, but there is a very important treasure you want. It's probably the most important treasure to get in the entire game, in my opinion. Just how valuable it is. And that would be in this... Uh, we're in a fixed encounter. Oh, crap, some dudes. Eh, ah, that's nice. Oh, yeah, we did get um some the ninja and me got some magic. <laughs> the ninja and me, we're gonna save the world. The ninja and me, alright. Anyways, uh, fancy show tunes aside, we need to cast spells to kill these dudes. Hopefully, eh, they, they can just turn us to stone, but I have such a good amount of uh, golden needles now, it's not that big of a deal. Fixed encounters, though, were fixed, so we might as well show them. Yeah, the, the, the thieves, I mean, the uh, ninja, <laughs> gotta get used to calling them the ninja. His uh, magic isn't amazing, but better than nothing. The giant's gloves are so good and important. I I don't I demand you get them, darn it. They cast Saber, which boosts uh, your attack and accuracy, just like I said, and I'm going to talk to you guys, because I want to I point something out. What the crud is there nothing in the back of those guys? There's just like nothing. It's just like empty space. It's just so random. I, I never got that. But. Anyways, the um, second treasure one here is uh, called... You, you can get another ribbon, and uh, there is another light axe if you need it. I said light axe, not something else. YouTube people. And yeah, I've been stuttering all my videos. It's kind of weird. I, I, I usually have a pretty good vocabulary or uh, tendency to say words correctly, I guess you can say. Uh, what am I doing talking through this battle? I said I was going to cut all the battles out that are unnecessary, darn it. I guess there's no point, really. Yeah, the way this is looking without editing, I may have to split this up into two videos. I really hope I don't have to. Uh, but whatever. The ribbon in here, I, I know that all classes can equip it, but I'm not sure about um, giving it to Caleb, because I think what he has now is a little bit better. I don't know, I guess I'll see which chest has the ribbon. I don't know. Yeah, in between battles, I looked at my map and found out which one had it. Uh, there's some gill there. And a ribbon, but uh, over in that chest are some random encounters. Or, I mean, not some random encounters. Uh, some more gill, but I don't want to take the steps to... Anyways, like I was saying, and not stuttering again. Gosh, I gotta stop stuttering, man. We're actually on the first floor of the uh, dungeon, if you didn't notice, actually. We're actually slowly descending. So, which way do I go? Up oh, this way, alright, we're almost at the boss. And that's good. So, we got the Rosetta Stone, and we got the Giant's Gloves, which are very, very good treasures. Oh, I actually had a speech error in my last sentence. Uh, technically, the Rosetta Stone isn't a treasure, it's more like a key item, so... Whatever. I really gotta use, start using that Heal Rod, or whatever it's called. In battle, helps conserve on mana. And yeah, whatever. But then again, I have 
a lot of ethers, so it doesn't matter. Um, I think I got a treasure in that battle. I want to see what it was. Oh, it was another worm killer. <laughs> we don't even use those anymore, stupid. Huh. Anyways, uh, if you come in here, it's kind of a big room, but do not be fooled. This is not where the boss is. So you got to go through one last little room to get to him. But, uh, it's not that big of a deal. Just, uh, keep on going. Anywho, like I was saying, just, just a little bit further. And you're almost there. Hey, it's the water crystal. Actually, my favorite crystal, just how cool it looks. Anyways, I'm going to make sure that everyone is at their best fighting capabilities. And uh, this is actually my favorite boss fight in the whole game. Well, not in the whole game, but out of the four fiends, this is my favorite. Because it's not too hard, and they give you all these tools to just basically kick the guy's butt. And yes, it is a dude. Do not be fooled. I like how there's, um, there's actually two male and two female uh, fiends. Well, I, I, I don't know what the lich is a male, I mean, whatever. Eh, he kind of is, whatever. Whatever, 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 I won't shut up. Yeah, anyways. Everybody has max MP, so we'll go talk to the crystal. <laughs> you humans do impress. <laughs> I would not have thought to see you here. What are you talking about, crystal? Of, of course we're gonna come here, we gotta beat all you fiends, dude. Yes, this is the dorkiest of the fiends. <laughs> He's just an octopus with a cape. <laughs> But do you really think you can defeat me, the fiend of water, here in my own domain? Fools! Fool! <sighs> These dark depths shall be your tomb! And wow, just... Just look at him! <laughs> He's just a kraken with like a, a cape. He looks like a wizard or something. Anyways, the first thing you want to do in this fight is... You want to... Well, I'm actually going to use a strength tonic because I want to see if it stacks. But yeah, the... Kraken's weakness is actually fire. I mean, a, f a fire, oh my gosh. It's actually electricity. Electricity! And, yeah, that's, that's basically how you beat him. Though, strong physical attacks, though, are basically going to be a godsend in this battle. So I'd use them, and wow, that was a lot of damage. Holy crud. I don't know if all these buffs stack, but I sure am going to try and see if they do. Uh, oh, that didn't do very much. Then again, Josh isn't really a wizard. But we did cast Protect on everybody. Yeah, I'm just gonna start attacking. Um, no, I do not need to start attacking. I need to use the giant's gloves like I told you to get. And if you don't have them, if you don't have them this battle, oh, I didn't equip my revenue crud. Oh well, whatever. Uh, there we go, Sam Rudd ever again. Um, yeah, there's the giant's gloves. Uh, just keep attacking for the most part. We do actually cure Josh. That's a good idea. And we'll cast haste on Josh too. Why not? You know. Uh, he only did 25 damage, fool. Yeah, I like the animation that it does for Saber. It just looks cool. It's like, hey, you know my sword? Now it's stuff's like flying around it and it looks cool. Anyways, this is actually, like, it's not the easiest, but it's not the hardest either. Definitely the easiest to lich, unless you don't know what you're doing. But, um, okay, so we did that. We, we did Saber. Now all I gotta do is to cast Temper, which actually I'm going to make Josh do. And... That should be all the buffs we need for John, or John, whatever. And I don't know if I already casted haste on Josh. I probably did, but I'm just gonna do it again anyways. And holy crud, 12 hits, 500 damage. What the crud, now we're gonna do temper. Let's see how much I do next turn. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Cast Invisor on everybody, it's not a bad idea. The more buffs, the better, really. That's how Final Fantasy works for the base part. And we can't cast Temper anymore, sad face. Oh, well. No, actually, no, I need to use the Giant's Gloves again. Get as much attack power going as possible. Um, I don't think... Yeah, Miku can't do any more uh, buffs. Might as well make Caleb attack with Thunderga. Yeah, he does use Ink, which... It just looks nasty. Look at that. It's like, ugh. It's so nasty. Anyways, 800 damage. Oh my gosh. <sighs> That's pretty much the only downside to this, it makes the game too easy. It's an already easy game. That's kind of why I avoided getting Saber on the Black Mage to begin with. Because it makes the game way too easy. And wow, like seriously, like three turns and we already beat him, oh my gosh. Ugh, well, that was the Kraken, I guess. Yeah, um, and he also, he has like, a treasure. Oh, he didn't drop it. The treasure he drops is called the Kikafumuchi... The uh, Kiku Uchi Manji. Yeah, that's kind of a mouthful. That's a uh, dagger for somebody, I think. Anyways, now we're going to purify another crystal. Hooray! And indeed, we are going to wave our hands in the air. We, we kind of care this time. We're kind of conservative, so... We're not going to woo and hit a lamp or something. 
But anyways, uh, yeah, remember when we went to that whirlpool? Uh, the bonus dungeon for Life Spring Grotto opens this too. Or opens too. I keep having so many like, speech errors. I need to like think before I talk. Uh, it's the main reason I, w I thought of not doing let's plays because I, I I agree with my friend. I do I I think <laughs> I think much faster than I can talk for the most part. But anyways, that was Life Spring Grotto. Eh, not Life Spring Grotto. That was the uh, whatever dungeon that's called. Uh, the the water one. So anyways, guys, uh, as you can see, there's only one more crystal left to get, so uh, in the next video, we're going to work on getting that one. So I guess I'll see you then.